Hi family, Mama Jean and uh, Morgan here again. Today we making fish cakes. Beautiful, savory, delicious fish cakes. Now the basic ingredients will show you the fish that we buy, that we use. That's mackerel uh, in brine and oil. Mackerel in brine and oil. Try not to use the one in tomato sauce. You'll give yourself a lot more work. Okay. And the first thing you do is you clean the fish. And that's what Mama Jean is doing now. If you watch her, she grabs a fish. Cleans all the fatty parts on the outside, the skin and stuff. All that comes away under a tap that's running, cold water. Center bone out. Clean them up nicely, all the fat away. Another piece. All the fat off. No fat here, this is skin. Open up the center. All the mushy parts, take it away, wash it away. Alrighty. Get to the next part soon. Once you've cleaned the fish, drain all the water out, like Mama Jean is doing. So family getting back to the fish cakes. Um, we use two tins for our particular meal today. Well, it'll last a couple of days, hopefully. So two tins, nicely cleaned and shredded, as you can see what Mama Jean is doing. The other ingredients, we used one and a half medium onion, um, crushed mint, about half a bunch, medium-sized bunch, coriander, about half a bunch as well, medium-sized bunch, and crushed chilies, uh, reckon it's about six. six to eight chilies there. We like it hot. Adjust. Two slices of bread soaked in milk, one egg, salt, pepper. So we're gonna watch Mama Jean working this now. Shredding the fish, the yummy fish. In goes some salt. That's about two, two teaspoons full of salt. Adjusted. Some pepper. Some pepper, black or white pepper, doesn't really matter. Pepper's pepper. Work that in nicely. Throw in your onions and your chilies and your mint and your coriander. Okay, work that through. And as usual, make sure your fingernails are clean. No COVID-19 hiding underneath it. Mine's a shot. Squeeze the bread. Squeeze the bread. Squeeze the milk out. Break the bread up into the mixture. Second slice, squeeze it, break it up into the mixture, like Mama Jean is doing. I'm going to give it to you just now. Okay. 
By the way, these fish cakes go beautifully with brandy and coke, or even cane and coke, if you can get some. You won't get it in New Zealand, probably back in South Africa. They're mouth watering. Yeah, salivating stuff, mate. Absolutely salivating stuff. Okay, stop it. Then get me. Okay, to the uh, mixture, we add a little little bit of breadcrumbs, about coarse breadcrumbs, about a tablespoon, oh. just over, yeah, tablespoon and a half. Two tablespoons. Okay, man. two tablespoons, sorry. Crack your egg and get him in there and mix to bind all these beautiful ingredients. So we only need two another egg. We use two tin fish, so probably looking at two eggs. So two eggs to this mixture. That was easy, I had two tins of tin fish, two slices of bread, two eggs, two onions, two small onions, yep, or one, if you're using a larger onion, one and a half would do it. So work that mixture, like Mama Jean is doing. There you go. Just testing it now to see if it'll hold. Yep. Yeah, looking good. See those hands work? Easy. Yeah? Comes with time, of course, with experience. <coughs> okay, we're now ready for the next part. We'll get back to you soon. Alrighty, back to making fish cakes. We've got the mixture ready. We've got some oil on the stove, not too, not too deep oil. Uh, you don't want to deep fry this, shallow fry. Uh, and the oil mustn't be too hot, it must be medium. And you let it fry slowly, okay? You've got a dish here to, to put the finished fish cakes into, to line them up. It will show you what Mama Jean's doing, how she makes the actual fish cake. We'll start from the beginning. The next one. Here we go. Slowly on this one, Mum. So grab a handful, roll it in your hand, make a ball, then flatten it out. You can work the sides as well so it looks nice and flat like a burger patty and you just put some flour on that as well take flour don't have to flour it too much you don't have to dunk it in the flour just just throw some flour on top of it you see how she does it now roll it Flatten it up, bring the sides in, some flour on it, just a wee bit, that's enough. Stick it on a tray, ready to fry. There it goes. Put those patties in there. Put fish cakes in there. Yeah. It's too high, adjust the stove. You can turn it off a bit. Start again. And keep the stove low. 
Now you can turn the fish cake with a fork or a spoon. The spoon will be better so you don't damage the sides. Uh, get a little hand strainer. One of those will do. And as the product gets ready, or when it's ready, just take it off the oil onto your hand strainer. Knock off the shake the excess oil off and then into your lovely dish that's waiting for those finished fish cakes. Okay, enjoy and let us know how your your fish cakes come out, all right? Thanks, bye. Fish cakes are almost ready. Look at that color. Gorgeous stuff, mate. Wait till you taste it. Okay. Okay. Ready to go. So into your little strainer. Shake the excess oil off. So there's your fish cakes all done and ready. Before you put the next batch, suggest you put the stove off for a bit, for a couple of seconds. The oil is the not too hot and doesn't burn the next batch that you put in. Give it a good shake. Hold the oil off. And into your, wait, your waiting dish. Fish cake's done. Enjoy. <laughs>